Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. We made it. Well, we're going to look at Bath and Body Words. Double the candles, double the gift. All candles, buy two, get two free. Who is buying candles today? Uh, oops. Like and subscribe. Don't forget your notification bell. Make a comment below. And who's buying candles? I really don't know. I'm going to have to really, really, really look and see if I need some candles. Um, I still haven't burned the candles I just bought. When they had to buy four, get four free. So would you try the new ones or you're restocking? I know I say that a lot. A lot of us say that. But let's get started. See what else they're offering and see what kind of candles they have. You know, the new ones and all that. So, let's get started. So, it's member exclusive sneak peek. Summer, here we come. Arriving soon, gilded evenings, cotton candy clouds, and over 135 new arrivals that remind us why there's no season quite like this one. So, we're going to be looking at, well, we pretty much know a lot of, uh, other YouTubers that have showed the new new news or whatever you want to call them. So they have the berry waffle cone, the sea salt lavender, and the summer boardwalk. So these are some of the new news that will be coming out for the summer. And then you already saw the love always wins. I like that. That is so pretty. Ooh, how they got the napkins and the cupcakes to go with it. That's cute. And let your cares fade away. Summer dream. Midsummer dream. Sorry about that. And how the colors they like totally blend in together really well why did I say totally anyway the eucalyptus rain candle the packaging and the ocean driftwood and the uh, tiki beach Ooh, almost couldn't see that but they got new packaging I love the gold tops and the packages of the ocean driftwood and the eucalyptus rain is really pretty oops it didn't turn so you were they're coming out with new news it says 135 new arrivals and as you see they have their little table set up and they're saying national nurse week is may 6th through the 12th and I did, hmm, I refused, I oh, refused, I received a couple of teacher appreciation gifts this week. Um, a couple of our kids gave us flowers, uh, gift cards, water bottles, uh, candles. Oh, it smells so good. It's not from Bath and Body Words. I don't know where they got it from, but it smells so good. And let me see if I have a picture of it. So this is some of the flowers. They're so pretty. I have it in my room. And then the water bottle. I didn't take a picture of everything. This was the first gifts that we've received. And I put the flowers in a shot glass. If it just right, it was like a tall shot glass. But it gift cards to Starbucks that I will be using. And I have another candle. Um it's coconut milk and vanilla. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. So the 35 reusable spring bag with $30 purchase in stores only because they sold out so fast online. Which is kind of goofy. I don't understand. I mean, they should still be having it online. But anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, buy two, get two free all candles. 
It's the single wick candles and the three wick candles. Buy three, get two free select body care and hand soaps, wallflower fragrance refill, sanitizer five pack. You could probably buy a uh, finder for six dollars. The five pack of hand sanitizers. Buy two, get one free child size items. Oh, and we also got Taco Cabana for breakfast from a Teach Appreciation Week and chocolate chip cookies. <sighs> Sometimes we do get appreciated as teachers, even though a lot of parents do complain, but we got those that really appreciate appreciates us, you know, because especially now with everything's going on, and I do virtual and in classroom, so it's not hard, but it's like, oh my God, I got to remember I got virtual class. I got to go back into the classroom, so... It's trial and error for everybody, regardless what you do. I mean, everything everything that everybody does in life is appreciated, should be appreciated. So, the raspberry mimosa, thank you, mom, which is the champagne toast I have. Do I have that one? I'm not for sure. Yep. Then, the mango Mai Tai. So, which one would be your favorite? So, let's look at some of the candles. You know, they got the single wick and the three wick. Buy two, get two free. And do you think that's a good deal? So they got the new candle holders. I'm still looking for that butterfly that I'm so mad. The gold one. But they got the under the water scene and the coastal luminaire. It's really pretty. And then, of course, the modern toucan. So I went, went ahead and used my rewards to get the silver leaves. But then they got the beaded pedestal and the rainforest scene pedestal. Limited time only. In stores and online. All candles by two. Get two free. So we're going to get started. The first two, three, rather. The pink lemonade, the strawberry pound cake, and the champagne toast. If I was to get candle, probably the new ones. I'm not for sure. Like I said, I'll decide as the day go on. I know I should do it right now because, you know, people love candles and they'll be gone out of stock real soon online. And uh, Summer Boardwalk, which is new, and a new berry waffle cone. And you got the raspberry mimosa. Then the packaging on the raspberry mimosa is pretty. I like that. It's like a star flower or something. Then you got the sunshine mimosa and the Waikiki beach coconut. New fragrance. Ice cream bar. I bet you that would smell so good. Then you got your pink lilac and vanilla. Mom, you're magical. I will get that for the packaging. And you got your fresh cut lilacs. And you got your single wig, which is an online exclusive. The sunshine and mimosa. Mada, 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 mosa. Ugh, that was a tongue twister. Then you got your champagne toast. And then you got your new fragrance, kiwi starfruit cooler. Love the peach bellini. The watermelon lemonade. Marre all day. Then you got your laundry day. Man, I don't want to order anything else, but I might have to. The peach bellini is really pretty. I mean, I got it in the single wick. Like I said, in the single wick, it really didn't throw. It really threw when it wasn't burning. But once you burn it, it was like a small room scent. But once I uh, blended it with the teak wood candle you know, burned it at the same time, it, like, blended really well. You get the the peachiness, and, uh, I guess, sweetness with a strong male scent. So, if you like that, that's that'll be uh, good candles to burn together. 
And as always, you know, aromatherapy candles are really good to be buying right now. Like I said, with everything that's going on in the world, you know, they're now they're talking about doing different uh, testings for the COVID shots and all this and that. It's crazy. I need to go ahead and get my shot before they mess it all up. But anyway, Endless Weekend, Spice Vanilla Cupcake, Love Endless Weekend, Fresh Spring Morning. Let's try that one. I know I heard somebody talk about it. I can't remember. what Was it a good throw and a good scent? So don't forget your uh, online exclusive, which is a thousand wishes, which it's more than just a thousand wishes. But they have other online exclusives, which is the Rainforest Gardenia and those who like Japanese Cherry Blossom. Then you have the Ice Blueberry Biscotto and the Hibiscus Paradise. And the Mahogany Teakwood, whether it's in hand soaps or candle, is, oh my gosh, it's so, I love this scent. I don't know why. I just love this scent. I want to just buy it all the time. And I know it's a man's scent, but it smells so good. Bergamot Waters. Why did I butcher that? Pink Apple Punch, Market Peach. So, man, if you're looking for a good scent, the Mahogany Teakwood is a good scent. If I had a man, I I would buy it for him. The candle, the whatever else. But, you know, I do buy it for my boys, even though only one of them really use it. The other ones, the other one, I don't know what he doing. I bought it for him and his roommates. They don't even use it. I'm like, do y'all even wash your hands? That's nasty. Whipped coffee, I will never, ever buy again. It is so sweet. I I can't even deal with it. I know a lot of people like sweet stuff, but I, like I said once before, I am not a sweet, sweet person. Well, I am a sweet, sweet person. Let me take that back. I'm a sweet person. I'm just not a sweet, it, it, as far as candy um, since some I might if it's light, but that whipped coffee was like, oh my gosh, it threw. I mean, it really threw from my room to my son's room to the kitchen. I mean, it was like throwing all everywhere and it lingered so well. But I'm like, it was too overpowering for me and my son. He's like, what is so sweet? So, if you like sweet, sweet stuff, that whipped coffee um, is more sweet than coffee smell. I mean, it wasn't for me. I gave it to one of my co-workers. I mean, I didn't want to just take it back, so I gave it to somebody else that would appreciate it. And then you got pineapple mango. Love that. Sugar lemonade. So, we're going to cut the video short. Oh, well, it's not short. It's long. Sorry about that. So, you know, we had to go over a couple of things. So, if you haven't uh, showed your child's teachers some kind of appreciation, even if it's a card that your child made or a flower from your yard, something from Dollar Tree, they have nice stuff at Dollar Tree. So, show your uh, child's teacher, or if you know a teacher... You know, any little thing is an appreciation. We do appreciate anything. You know, some kind of acknowledgement. Sorry, my stomach is growling. I only had coffee. Um, I mean, it. I know we can't hug or anything right now. But, you know, tell them imaginary hug. You know, we appreciate those two. Um, but... Show some kind of appreciation to your teachers because we're going through it too. I mean, we have a little extra stuff we have to do to be able to teach your child, to be able to encourage your child, to be able to, I don't know, have positive thoughts, you know, especially with everything. Like, I, I know I keep saying that, but we are trying to do everything. I mean, a lot of us, we're like, 
another mom, but at school, because, you know, a lot of the kids, I have one, in, a couple in my classroom, one really, whenever I have to leave the classroom, I have to tell her, I have to go to the bathroom. I have to go do another class real quick. I will be right back. I got to take this paper. I mean, seriously, nonstop. And if I don't speak to her in the morning, first thing, she is not happy with me. So appreciate your teachers. We're not trying to take your place or anything like that. It's just kids know when somebody is real and they grow an attachment. I'm sorry, I'm going on and on. But that's just how I see it. I've worked with kids all my life. I did try one thing, which was restaurant. My manager laughed at me because I didn't have the voice, he said. I could not even yell the um, order to the back because the mics were broken. So teaching has been my whole life. I mean, pretty much from infants to teens and even some of my co-workers they're asking me, can you be my mom? You know, because I I don't know. But anyway, I'm so sorry. But like and subscribe, make a comment below. Don't forget your notification bell. And as always, always stay warm, stay safe, stay sanitized, stay well. Once again, as always, always be blessed. Have a blessed Friday. Have a blessed day. Be safe, because we never know all these crazy drivers, but be blessed. Until next time, bye.